my god I am basically going to lip swatch not arm swatch lip swatch every single Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipsticks. They are what I think the best on the market in my opinion and I've been supporting his brand for a very long time I am a very loyal customer I love him very very much my dream is to make one with him like that is like in my craziest of ever dreams I hope one day I get to meet him but until then I'm gonna try on every single liquid lipstick of his because I love him and really believe in his products so if you're not a supporter of him and you're here to like write mean things about him basically get wrecked and get stuffed um, we're talking about the product here, we're not talking about him. So suck my ass and basically let's get started with trying on every single liquid lipstick that he's ever created. Oh my god! Ah! So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do it sort of in like colour coordination. Sort of. Not really, sort of. Don't judge me. I'm kind of just grouped them into like colour sets. I tried to put them into colour coordination like from like lightest to darkest but like Let's be real here. No, we can't do that. There's just too much. I've just basically done the best that I could and the best that I could is not my best, okay? So um, we're gonna have to suck it up, sis, and just... Oh my god, okay. First colour that I'm gonna be putting on is I'm Nude, which is quite an old colour. I'm not saying it's old as in like, um, it's shit, but this was released quite early on in Jeffrey's career. Oh my god, look at this colour. It's a very pale nude. I don't wear this often because sometimes I think it's just a little bit too pale for me. All his lipsticks are so moussey and so nice. It like glides right on and usually, usually, when, and I'm, when I say usually I mean like 95% of the time, it's literally one dip and you've got top and bottom coated. Like that's how good his lipsticks are. The long wear. Oh my god, it's so amazing because I'm a fat pig. I eat, I drink, I talk, as you know, and as you can see, and so I need a lipstick that is going to last a really, really long time. So this is why I love Jeffree's lipsticks. They do exactly that and fit perfectly into my lifestyle. Next lipstick is Nude Beach, and this was released in a summer collection from a few years ago, from what I can remember. This one's got a scent. It smells like watermelon. I literally just want to... Look at how opaque this is. Like, what the hell? Next is Butt Naked. And this is also a, I think this is a summer collection lipstick as well. Oh my god. Now this one has just been released recently as of this date to this video. And it is Can't Relate and this one is really special. I think this one's really, really cool. This is the closest thing to my lip colour, which I absolutely love. I swear to God, if he discontinues this lipstick, I will turn up to his house, take a dump on his property, and I hope to God that his Gucci flip-flops tread throughout his entire mansion with my shit on the bottom of his shoe. I swear to God, because this cannot be discontinued. This is the one of the best nudes I've ever ever tried in my entire life. Next up is this colour called Chrysanthemum. Um, I wasn't sure but I think this is like a really nice nude. I think it's a nude. It's like more of a pinky nude. Okay the next nude is Skin Tight. Like, this is quite fairly recent I think. This is like a quite a bright nude. Girls and boys, if, I know that we're talking nudes here, okay? But like, you know, you know what I mean. Like, I'm just, I'm just describing. It's like a cool toned, bright nude. You get my drift. This shade is called Soft Serve. I think this is his 2018 summer collection. This is like a beautiful coral nude. Next nude is Birthday Suit. 
Oh, this is so, so nice. This is like, this really matches well with my lips as well. There's not many like nudes actually look like your lips underneath, but better. You get what I mean? Like, this is one of them. This is amazing. This one is called Hunty. This is from a summer collection. That's another thing. Make sure to shake them. Oh my god, this is such an interesting nude. Like, it's like orangey brown. Like, this would look amazing on deeper skin tones. I think I need to wear this a little bit more. Next is Mannequin, which is Oh my god, this is like an all-time favorite of mine. I absolutely love this. This is my second purchase of this nude. It is just I just can't. You just have to see for yourself. Like, it is just absolutely beautiful. Honestly, I've put it in my will that if I die all of a sudden, that mannequin is to be put on my lips and my coffin. I swear to God, I just, there's something about this color that I just absolutely love. You might be like, what do you mean? Because you've just been watching me put like nude after nude straight on, but this just is, mm, there's something about it. I don't know what it is. There is just something in there. There's something in, in that lipstick that just makes me just, it just goes with every single eye look that you do. It goes with every single occasion. You could wear this to a birthday. Wear this while someone's giving birth. You could see this at a, at a cemetery viewing. See this at your auntie's divorce party. This is just the lip color for everything mate. I can't raise the roof high enough because I, I am only five foot two. Okay now I know I just went on and on and on and on about mannequin but celebrity skin. Where do I even be gin mate. This was my first ever, 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 ever lipstick of uh, Jeffrey's that I bought with my own money. I literally had um, just enough. I had 50 cents left over in my account. I have gone through three tubes of this. The, this is just my dream. It just like, if I had a kid and it came out of my wissy and I looked at it, I would want it to look like celebrity skin, okay? The best creation he's ever made in his entire Jeffree Star Willy Wonka life, I swear to God. Brace yourself. Oh my God. Sorry, I have to scrape the barrel because I'm nearly up to number four. I take this everywhere I go. drop. Can you see why I love this? It's more on the dark side. I do I do have to admit that it's a little bit more on the darker side. I like darker lipsticks, but this is just something bloody else. I nearly swore. I nearly swore for the first time on my channel. This is just I can't even get over it. Now, this one is quite unique. I haven't really reached for this one a lot. So, this color is Baby Daddy, and this is part of the Jeffree Star family collection. So, him and his beautiful boyfriend, Nathan, oh my god, who I'm so in love with, like, <laughs> like you look at him and you're like, wow, holy shit, wow, he looks like that. So, that's how I feel when I look at Nathan. But, anyways, yeah, this is Baby Daddy, so this is named after one of his dogs. It's showing up a lot different on camera. I'm just looking at my viewfinder. It's like it's kind of looking a little bit murky on camera, but in person it's really like it's like when you get a coffee, right? And the fluff, the milk and the chocolate fluff on top, it's kind of like that. It's it's so fluffy and like and his dogs are Pomeranians, so like how did he get this color? And you, I kind of think of fluff like it's <laughs> I'm going to take this off and just go on to the next one. I'm just talking shit now. Okay, the next one is I love this one, not only because it is an incredible colour and I wear this all the time, but it's also called Nathan! And I'm sort of got the hots for Nathan, nothing much, just something like, you know, I low-key just, I'm, I'm damn. This is just, I know that I love this shade, I wear this so often and this is always taken away with me whenever I travel. This is just a bloody beauty just like Jeffrey's boyfriend. So it's like, oh, what are the odds?
this is the closest I'm ever gonna get to him. And luckily, it's on my lips. Oh, bro, this, this color. Also, sorry, I haven't been choked to death. Who's that girl that was in trouble? We all thought that she was like in trouble, but she was actually completely fine. This is eczema, so we're just going to cover that up. Guys, this is just too much. Posh Spice is hands down just the it is just such a cool grey brown colour. This is my mum's favourite lipstick. She's gone through three of these. This is my second one. Oh, uh, have you seen anything more angelic? Can we just pause this video and just reflect on life, you know? Let's just have a reflection on the good things in life, like this. Life has only gotten better ever since this has been released, you know? This next one is like an absolute fave! It's called Gemini. Um, I know some Gemini, some of them are total dickheads, and some of them are just like, Woo! You are just... Bro! But this colour... Gemini is actually incredible. So I think this one may I think this makes up for the whole like, you know, Gemini's being a little bit weird and a little bit like crazy sort of thing. You know? Um and this one, Calabasas. Everyone wanted this. This is a permanent I can't say permanent permanent. It's here to stay for a long time, mate. I can't say permanent. Permanent permanent. Permanent. Who wants saying like peppermint? Perm permanent this is a permanent. I'm just gonna put. I'm just gonna shut up. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I don't really reach for that color very much. Maybe I, I need to wear it out a little bit more. Like I see it on me now, and I'm like, yeah, it is actually a really good color. What am I doing? I've been missing out. This one is thick as thieves. I love this one so much. I love browns and caramel. I call it limeric. Caramel backwards is limeric, and I think that is just so much funnier to say. So I kind of like the limeric looking colors. Yeah, I don't know. I just love this. This is just like, it's kind of like a burnt celebrity skin kind of feel. It's just, oh, I wear this so often and I love it so much. I've nearly like finished the bottle. Now this one, I don't know if I should, uh, I mean, it's, um, let's just say ships have sailed. This is called I'm Shook um, and this was created with um, one of Jeffrey's friends at the time. Let's just, let's just put it on. Now, I should have put this in the reds, but like, as it dries down, it kind of does become a bit nudey. Just a little bit. You just kind of have to like imagine it um, from my perspective. Okay, this one, I don't really reach for a lot because I find this a little bit too pink, but this is like a cult fave and this is Rose Matter. I know I should wear this more, but I just find it just too pink. As you get to know me um, throughout this video, you're going to hear me complain about how I hate the colour pink. It, this is just getting a little bit too close to comfort, you know. I'm, you're kind of like testing the waters here a little bit for me now, you know. Um, my wissy is getting a bit sweaty. I'm just not sure about it. Yeah, I can tolerate this colour, but you're kind of pushing the limit here. This one is also a huge favourite, and this is Doll Parts. This is, a, again, a little bit too pink for me, but, you know, I'll put it on um, just you know, just to settle all the arguments. So this is like a muted pink nude. I'm getting a little bit more triggered now. I'm getting a little bit more sweaty. I'm I'm reaching towards my phone and um, I want to call my mum and go, mum. This one is an awesome colour. I absolutely love it and it is delicious and it honestly is delicious. It looks so like you could eat it. Like I, when I put this on, I literally think of chocolate mousse. It is so, so cool. Um, this is named after one of Jeffrey's pups. So, whoever did this application literally needs a punch in the head, I swear to Christ. I don't know what happened and... But anyways, look at this colour, like it is just so... Oh, it's like a brown, purple, like, moment. It's just delin delicious. Okay, this one. I love this one so much. This is Human Nature. This is from a Christmas collection. 
just brace yourself. I swear to God, this is just... Uh... I have never looked so hot in my entire life and it's all because of this lipstick. This one is an absolute favorite. This has been named after a eyeshadow palette of his. This is androgyny and oh my god, it's just... It's a dream come true. Honestly, like the world stopped when this was created. I wear this lipstick so often. I think this is my second time purchasing this. It's quite close to human nature. It's very similar, but there's just something about this one. It's kind of got like more of a um, purple tone to it, which is just, oh, it's just too bloody die for. Okay, this one is also um, in collaboration with um, thingy and this is called daddy this is like a nice color um it re reminds me of like chocolate yogurt family jewels is from a summer collection and wow what can i say she's bloody beautiful isn't she like really truly is a family jewel okay really like are we serious i don't have the time literally don't even have time can't afford the time to do this <coughs> this is called allegedly Wow, the application to this is actually um, beautiful and gorgeous. This is like a terracotta, peachy red, nude. I reckon it's it's um, like a, the darker version of Nathan. This one, oh, this one's really, really cool. This one is Leo. My mum is a Leo. And, oh God, I, this, this colour is just, it's such a pretty nude. Like it's, I, I think, it, or like a pretty brown. I just, oh. I, I'm sweating. I'm literally like sweating right now. You know how Leo is, is um, the zodiac is like Leo is your best friend. Is that, is, surely, is that right? Lion is your best friend. Oh god, I don't know. Do I, do I look like an astrologist? Do I look like one of those? Do I look like an archaeologist? I don't think I do. I, I look like an idiot putting lipstick on, but I thought Leo line your best friend like something like that i don't know that could be pisces i, I don't know sh sh d i don't know this is just a great color this is that's all i know oh my god this nude i think this is now like permanent on the website and thank christ for that because i cannot live without this shade ever 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 and this is christmas cookies I take this color absolutely everywhere. This goes with everything. This reminds me of mannequin. It is just, oh my God, I cannot live without this. The last nude that I'm putting on is an, a super old favorite of mine. I need to wear it more. I need to have an excuse to wear it more. I don't know why I haven't worn it for such a long time, but oh my God, this is just uh, the best brown lipstick that you will ever find in your entire life. I swear to God, you will not find anywhere else better. Dominatrix. It's like putting chocolate on your lips. It is just, oh my God, so beautiful. It's just, mm. of course I did that, you dumb bitch. Just forget the application. Just look at the color. Just look at the color. Don't judge. Look how stunning that is brown is. I've never come across a brown that is as beautiful and as delicious and as gorgeous and as beautimous, beautiful and gorgeous combined, as this colour. Oh my god, this metallic is honestly going to be the most insane metallic pink that you're ever going to see in your entire life. This is Dreamhouse and oh my god, this is such a fun colour. You have no idea. Are we serious? Why did this, why does this happen to me? Um, we're just gonna do the lip swatch with um, this mess here because honestly, it just adds a bit of character. Um, but oh my God, this color, Dreamhouse, oh, it is honestly a dream. Like, look how amazing that is. Look, like, look how, could you get any more metallic if you bloody tried? 
I don't think so. I am going to be putting on First Class, which is, oh my god, like the most amazing gold lipstick ever. If I was to go first class, which I will never in my entire life, that will never ever happen. I can never afford to be first class on a plane. But if I ever did, I would so wear this. I would be like, mm-hmm, give me a cranberry juice on ice, please. This colour is absolutely amazing. This is something new from his new collection. And honestly, this is the most amazing blue. And it is called You're Still on the Property, which is really funny. Um, but yeah, wait till you see this on. Isn't this the most coolest blue metallic lipstick that you've ever seen in your life? This one is such a cool colour and the name is so funny. This is Pussy Whipped. It's got such a nice like iridescent look to it. It's just so pink and orange and coppery and oh it's just... Next I am going to be putting on Flamboyant which is from a summer collection of his. Oh my god, I can't get out of the smell. Oh my god. Oh my god, it smells like sherbet. It's like, um, oh, what is that? Oh my god. And this is Restraints. This is from like a Valentine's Day collection. I don't think it was like Valentine's Day, but it was like released around then. Um, I apologize for like my lips going like quite red around here. My literal lips are like burning its tits off. It's like a beautiful like gunmetal grey purple iridescent like looking ass thing and oh, it's just Woo! This one is from a summer collection and this is Thirst Trap. Look how icy it is. It's oh. This one is from another summer collection and is it? Yes, it is. And this is Candy Ass. Just how that was using literally only one swipe as well. Like this is what the heck? This one is from his latest as of from this date of this video, I just have to keep saying that because there's some dumb people on here. There will be people that comment on this video six months later going, that's not his recent. His recent is this one. So you're lying. Bro, let's just settle down for a second. Like this is just too much. Okay, this is just a lot right now. Look at this. Are we seeing this? Ignore the corners because my lips are bleeding right now, but oh my god, look at that. This one is, eh, this is really good. This is no tea, no shade. We need some words. So this is like a beautiful plum purple but like it's got like an icy look to it it's like brown but purple but delicious and i keep on saying delicious i keep on explaining all his lipsticks are delicious they literally are they're so oh so this i don't know if this is metallic or not i kind of thought it was at first but it's kind of like a just a glittery lipstick he hadn't really released metallics when he released this this is called rich blood but it's got so it's got so many glitters in it So yeah, okay, it's not really metallic, but like when you like press your lips together, little glitters come up and it, it and then it becomes a little bit glittery. Okay, the last metallic that I'm gonna be checking on is Fudge Pop and this is from a summer collection of his. And it is a beautiful bronzy brown and it's just Isn't that just so fudge poppy like you think that you t and you honestly think of chocolate ice blocks like oh. so you just want to do that the whole time and also yellow I, yellow just kind of just not fit anywhere so I'm just gonna put it on now this is Queen Bee and this is from one of Jeffrey's like really early summer collections and I think this is my 
all-time favorite like summer collection so anything with a yellow lid I, I loved that collection This is my kind of shit, bro. The lipsticks of all lipsticks. I don't know any other company that has that has made a yellow lipstick. There probably ha there probably has been. Now this shade is a super interesting shade. It's not like a it's not a favorite. It's not a cult fave, but you know it's still a very interesting one. And this is Venus Flytrap. Is it called? Yeah, Venus Flytrap. And it is from a summer collection of Jeffries. insane nah. next shade is mistletoe which is from his one of his very first christmas edition lipsticks oh my god i'll never get over how smooth these go on like they are just so nice this is one of my favorites at the moment i am so obsessed with this this is karma and wait till you see it on do i need to explain more like do i need to go into further detail about this this is just this one is called crocodile tears and this is from a, another holiday collection my application is so bad but just This colour is quite an oldie, but is always a classic. This is Dirty Money, like a grey green. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it truly is the colour of American money. It looks so cool with this look as well. But, well, that's what I think. In my, in my opinion, I think this looks really cool. Oh my god, I love this colour so much. This is Breakfast at Tiffany's. To be honest, I have actually worn this quite a bit. For a colour like this, I have actually worn it on numerous occasions. Oh my god, look at that! This is the coolest colour I own. I swear to god, this is just the coolest shit ever! Sounds like I this video is sponsored, it's not. But I, I should mention, all his lipsticks are vegan and cruelty free and um, they're all eye safe so you can all you can check it in your eye and you'll be completely fine and everything's all good and all that shit so yeah this looks incredible in the waterline so definitely try it if you do decide to get this or if you do have it check it in your eyes this is Huntington Beach and this is from a summer collection as well She doesn't fail, does she? This colour does not fail. It's quite there. Huntington Beach is here. This one is a great one. This is Mermaid Blood. It's so similar to Huntington Beach. I think this is just a little bit darker, like a touch darker. Oh god, I love this colour so much. I've actually worn it so much. This is such a throwback for me. This is abused and this is like a denim purpley dark blue like I don't know how to explain it okay that was so hard to apply because there's literally nothing in here and the dofa applicator was literally like it was like putting it on with an ice block stick it was like hard and like dried out that I've honestly had this since like 2014 or 2015 I've had it for a long time I think this was like the second or third lipstick that I bought I look dead this one is a super cool color this looks amazing and the waterline. This is Diamond and this is from his family collection. This is just the coolest purple blue periwinkle colour. Oh, it just makes me so happy. It kind of reminds me of like Disneyland. I don't know why. This one is Jawbreaker and it has been well used. It's just like the most brightest, coolest blue in the whole world. Like it is just, oh my god. This one is an awesome blue as well. This is blue velvet and this has definitely been one of my oldest lipsticks that I've owned. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Abused. This is Medusa. It's like 
It's like a grey, blue, black, dark muted blue. I don't know how. I am going to be checking on right now Scandal. This muted purple, it's pushing pink. I, I know, I can hear you. I can hear you out there going, oh Kato, it's quite close to pink. I can hear you from, from down the back, okay? I can, I can actually hear you. But this color is really beautiful and I love it. This one is like an absolute fave. It's a classic. It's gotta be in your collection for Evs. It is I'm Royalty. Love this colour. Like when people say what's your favourite colour and I say purple, I mean like this purple, you know what I mean? Okay, this one is like from the Valentine's season. Like I don't know what this was but it was a collection and it was near Valentine's Day. I, I, we talked about it before. Uh, this is problematic. Oh my god, do you know who's problematic? Me. Like it's so sexy, like it's like a sexy colour. Like if you want to ever feel sexy, maybe you should like try this. Uh, this one is from a summer collection and this is You Better Work. Don't you just want to have this on you forever? Like do you ever have that feeling when you're like, hmm, if I could have something tattooed on me for the rest of my life, it would be this colour. This one is self-control. This one is quite a similar colour to Self Control. This is Virginity, which is, oh, this is just, again, from my favourite, favourite summer collection ever. This is such a fun colour. I need to wear this more. This one is Berries on Ice, and this is from a Christmas edition. It's like a deep wine colour, like there's something about it, I just love it so, so much. This is just, oh my god, such good memories um, wearing this colour. This is Blow Pony, wait till you see it, it's, it's so cool. I don't know about you, but if I had a lipstick on the market, this colour, I would literally be the proudest person in the entire world. Okay, and this is Sagittarius. Mia is a Sagittarius. It's just such a nice muted plum purple. So this next colour is Deceased, and honestly, I'm going to be honest, I can't really tell the difference between Sagittarius and Deceased. I think this one's a little bit greyer or a little bit darker or a bit more, it's got more brown to it, but you know, you, you'll see in a, in a hot second. Like, it's an amazing colour, but it, I just find it so similar to Sagittarius. I think Sagittarius is just a little bit more purple. I have always loved the shade so, so much. I was so excited when this came out. Scorpio. My best friend is a Scorpio. Lots of cool people that I know are Scorpios. The Deed Hedgehog across the road from my house can do a better job than applying like lipstick. Like this, this is so bad and I'm so sorry. I'm not doing the color justice, but yeah, this is Scorpio and it's, as it dries down, it kind of gets a little bit darker and darker. Public service announcement, this, is the best lipstick that Jeffree Star has ever created in his entire life, okay? Like, this is my all-time favourite colour. Cannot put it down, sleep with it under my pillow. I am just drenched in this colour every single day of my life. I cannot live without this. And if this discontinues, I'm just going to have to harass Jeffree Star and get arrested. This is called Triggered, and honestly, it triggers me. Can you agree? Like look at, just look at this. Look at the color. Just breathe, breathe for a minute. This is real life. I'm telling you right now guys, this is real actual life and you are actually seeing this on my lips right now. This is such a fun color and I remember purchasing this like literally years ago. This is Queen Supreme and I need to wear this colour more. I forget how fun it is. It's so cool. This is literally so opaque and it looks stunning. 
stunning in the waterline oh my god it looks so 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 cool and it just looks amazing as like just eye art and stuff oh it's just Next, I'm going to be putting on Diva, which is named after one of Jeffrey's dogs, and it is from the family collection. This one has got such pretty glitters in it. It is so, so cool. This one is Santa Baby, and I don't know why I didn't put it in the purples. I think I, like, remember this being really berry, so this is probably why it's uh, in the pinks. Now this lipstick might look a little bit patchy, it's because it's drying in like different areas. Yeah, this is like a beautiful like raspberry colour and it just, it reminds me of summer. This one is like a whoa shade, like this really stands out. This is Masochist, I remember getting this for like the first time. This is quite an old shade, like this is from like early on. It's not showing up on camera, but this is like a true raspberry. Like this is just, uh. This one is from one of his summer collections and this is watermelon soda. This smells like watermelon and it is just, uh. This looks incredible as like winged eyeliner. I've done it before and I should do it again. It is such a awesome like look and it's, it looks so cool with this look. It, I love how this matches like with up here as well. This one is Romeo and it is this like super romantic like pale pink. Oh my god. I just put it all up my nose. What the actual heck? What the? Oh my god, it dries so fast. It dries ridiculously fast. Like, look at my bottom lip. It's like completely like, see ya, like kiss proof, see ya, pash proof, blah, blah. And this is like a cult favorite. I personally don't like it because I just think it's too pale and too pink for me. But um, everybody loves the shade and there was like a humongous like um, fist fight to have this permanently like on his website and stuff. Uh, remember. Okay, just remember, I can't um, pronounce things um, very well. This is 714. It's like drying funny because I've put like three layers on by mistake. Um, but this is what it looks like. I don't, I don't like it on me. I don't think I suit it very well. And this one is, I think this was like one of the three that was ever released ever in like the history of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And that is Prom Night. It is just the most happiest, brightest pink ever. Like it's so bold and just so, I don't know why I don't wear this more. Like I could, I can tolerate with pinks like this. It's like the baby pinks and like the cutesy pinks I'm just not about. But when it's like something bold like this, I'm like, hell yeah, I will sleep in this like 100%. And this one is from a summer collection and this is 818. And this is like a really cool pink. It kind of reminds me of 714, but just, um, I think a little bit darker, just a touch bit darker. This is so coral, like it is such an insane bright coral color. Like I can't, oh my God, I can't even handle it. Okay, so this one is Flamethrower. This is a such a cool orange. This orange just gives me so much life. Next, I'm gonna be putting on uh, Yummy, which is from a summer collection. It's looking like quite red on here, but it's actually very orange in person. And this one is also in the summer collection and this is Coral Fixation. It's so annoying that this camera can't pick up some colors. It's such a bright orange, like it's a real like showstopper. Pumpkin pie, the shade. I don't know if this is like, if you can still get it or not, but this shade, I swear to God, this changed my life. I wore this all summer long and I, I still wear it to this day. This, this is just the perfect orange brown and it's just so delicious. You could bloody eat it.
Don't you just want to eat it all up? Yum 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 pumpkin pie like Fun fact, I've actually never had pumpkin pie before. The kind of the thought of it kind of freaks me out. It's a bit of an American thing. In New Zealand, we don't have that. We eat like just mince pies. This is an amazing colour. This is Checkmate and this is from the holiday collection as well from a few years ago. This is just stunning. This one is like, I will never give this up, okay? Like if I had to choose in a fire between the blood sugar palette my dog and this and I could only rescue two I would get my dog and this lipstick it is Anna Nicole <sighs> it's just <sighs> okay and this color here is red rum this is like a true red like it is just the truest red ever like if you are a red lipstick lover this is your number one priority right here best red I swear to god like it is just the red that I have wanted for years and years and I never thought anyone would make it this good but Jeffrey's done it this one is from a summer collection as well and this is called cherry wet It looks kind of similar to like watermelon soda, but it's it's not. This is a lot darker. Okay, this one is amazing. This is, hi, how are you? This should have been in the pinks. Whoops, sorry. Yeah, it like comes off as quite berry looking and then it really dries down to be like more red. This one is Jeffrey Who, and this is from his latest collection as well. Okay, I'm this should have been in like the nudes or like the pinks, but honestly, I'm kind of giving up at this point. Can you see how busted my lips are right now? This is Wifey, and this is from the family collection, and this is just oh shit. Perfect, like autumn shade. Like it is just so nice. Okay, this is a cult favorite, and I have to admit, as soon as I got it, I was like, yeah, I'm never taking this shade off. I have worn this shade so many times. I think this is my second bottle. I'm not too sure, but I know that I absolutely love Unicorn Blood. I mean, honestly, look at this. How can you not love this? Okay, and this is Unicorn Blood's like twin sister. This was released in a um, Christmas edition and this is Designer Blood and oh my god. Like, Unicorn Blood's amazing, but this is just, oh. You probably, you're probably thinking, um, that's exactly like Unicorn Blood. It's not. It's different. I swear to God, it's so different. It goes just with everything and it is just, oh, it's painful to take off. Okay, so I am now moving on to the last two colours and those two colours are... This is the best black I've ever, ever, ever used in my entire life. I am forever taking this out of my mum's makeup bag because she is always taking it. She reckons this is the best black that she's ever used, ever. Like you can see how terrible I am at like doing my lips. Like I have been doing this for like what the past three hours and I still can't line my lips. Like good job bro, like well done. And I've saved best for last. This is a absolute favorite, um, especially in the drag community. I think this is always gonna be on his website. This is 